Cleanup is expected to continue into the weekend in Northeast Ohio after that severe weather yesterday. That includes six tornadoes. Communities are still reeling from the wind and rain damage. And some homes are damaged, as you see right there. Power outages were reported as well. The chief was on it, as she always is. She's always keeping an eye on all this stuff. So, Betsy, where did those tornadoes touch down? Well, this line of storms that spawned the tornadoes swept from the uh, west to the east through the late afternoon hours, and it was embedded in that line that there were several areas that were spinning. The latest storm reports from the National Weather Service, they had two different survey crews out today, and they identified where the tornadoes hit, an EF1 in the Willowick area, EF1 in Hinkley, EF0 in Hudson, an EF1 and an EF0 in northwestern Stark County, that's in the Hills and Dales. Jackson Township, North Canton area, and then an EF1 and an EF2, EF0, both in Cortland, one just uh, to the west and one to the east. So it was a very active afternoon. We also had some sporadic wind damage throughout. But really, the first tornado report that we got through the day was actually in the Hinkley area. That was where that line first started to crank up the spin. Now, of course, the big question in all of this is what can homeowners do with uh, the damage and in the aftermath of that damage. Will Uick tells us about a little known phone call that you should make as you deal with repairs. Heard there was a tornado in the area, obviously thinking it wouldn't hit us. And uh, they went in the basement in the bathroom and all of a sudden big boom. Chris's experience was shared by many around Northeast Ohio after three confirmed EF1 tornadoes touched down Thursday with winds topping 95 miles per hour. Uh, apparently it started right here and it picked up our furniture, moved it all over the yard into the neighbors. Uh, we'll have a few things to fix, some shingles in the back uh, part of the house. All is calm on this Friday evening, a well manicured lawn. The skies are clear, but a much different picture 24 hours ago where I'm currently standing used to be a trampoline that now is in about 100 pieces. Plop right out of our backyard, just sucked it up and took it over there. And and uh, there's pieces, parts in their yard, but none in ours. So that was kind of crazy. The good news for homeowners like Chris and what many don't realize is that they can actually claim a reduction in their property taxes due to the damage. One of the things that people miss because again you, you've got damage it's it's an unfortunate situation and, and one you're not used to but they often forget to notify their county auditor because if they have had damage uh, to real property if they fill out the proper form they can get that reduced on their taxes for 2022. This applies to every county in Ohio but the form needs to be filed by the end of January. The value will vary depending on the damage, but for people like Chris, it may help replace that trampoline. They spend hours and hours on it, so it gives us a little break from the kids, so we'll, we'll definitely get another trampoline. In Medina County, Will Uick, 3 News.